Let's face it, I am confident that all of us at one point or another in our lives has been guilty of purchasing something, whether it's fashion, beauty, lifestyle related, whatever it may be that we regretted. So this video is all about the items that I personally stopped buying. And I truly believe that you should too because it has made such a dramatic difference in my life. I'm a lot more mindful about my purchases and it's a lot easier for me to to keep tabs on the crap that I bring into my life. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. The first thing I stopped buying, and I think that you should too, is designer jewelry. Designer jewelry, I feel, is so overpriced for what it is. The quality is not even that good in most case scenarios. From my personal experience, I have dabbled in designer jewelry in the past. I have a pair of Dior Tribal earrings that I love and I still wear. Admittedly, I have a couple pieces from Chanel, but if you break it down and really look at the materials used to make these pieces, you're really just paying for the branding and that is so so upsetting to me especially for someone who really appreciates high quality items and appreciates craftsmanship and all of these things it really drives me nuts when a piece of jewelry is so expensive and it's plated or it's made from imitation pearls whatever it may be there's just no reason as to why these luxury brands can't produce higher quality jewelry for the price that you are paying so as a girl who really loves and appreciates high quality jewelry I love brands like Ana Luisa I've been wearing Ana Luisa pieces for over two years now and hands down I can tell you from personal experience they are probably one of my favorite jewelry brands to wear on a daily basis because they are made from high quality recycled materials they are a sustainable brand that is trying to reduce their carbon footprint I just love their overall brand ethos and their pieces are so cool and so classic but yet trendy at the same time. They really mastered that really beautiful balance between the two. And I love wearing their pieces on a daily basis. They really make a statement, they stand out and they truly stand the test of time. I wanted to share with you a few newer pieces that I picked up from Ana Luisa, like the earrings I'm wearing today. These are beautifully handcrafted. They don't tarnish and they just look so beautiful and luxe on the ears. You guys know that I have been been wearing these rings on repeat for over the last couple of years. I pretty much wear them on the daily and I love them. This dome ring and this croissant looking ring, both of them are from Ana Luisa. And this is also a more recent find that I got a few months ago, but I've also been wearing it almost on a daily basis and I love it so much. So if you guys are interested in checking out anything from Ana Luisa, I'll leave all of their information on the screen here and also in my description box down below. Another thing I stopped buying, and I think you should too, is luxury fragrances. You guys, I used to be such a lover of luxury fragrances and I truly appreciated the complexity of creating all of these fragrances. I also loved the emotional aspect that becomes attached to certain fragrances when you wear them and you go through all these life changes. For example, I will always, always have a very intimate connection with my Chanel Chance Au Fresh scent because that is the scent that I wore on my wedding day. But after discovering Okja in oil perfumery, my opinion about luxury fragrances has really, really changed. Again, I truly believe that when you are buying luxury fragrances, certain luxury fragrances, especially from high-end designer houses such as Tom Ford and Chanel, you're really paying for the branding, for the advertising, because the actual perfume and the fragrance itself and the packaging really does not cost anywhere near as much as what it's being retailed for. So you really want to ask yourself, what are you comfortable paying for? Are you paying for the whole luxury experience? Do you love displaying your luxury perfume bottles? 
in your home. If you're the kind of person that really gets a kick out of putting all of your luxury perfume bottles out on display and it makes you happy, then you do you. For me personally, I just like wearing a beautiful scent and that's what makes me all giddy on the inside. I really don't care what the outside packaging looks like, so I'm paying for what's on the inside of the bottle. So if you're like me, definitely check out Okja and Oil Perfumery. I've been wearing their fragrances for years and I swear by them and I have done a couple comparison videos of oil perfumery and Okja fragrances to their luxury dupes. And in all cases, Okja and oil perfumery took the cake and I've recommended them to all of my friends and family, to all of you guys. And I get so happy whenever I see you love my recommendations and post about it on social media because it just goes to show that the obsession doesn't only stop with me. I also wanted to mention um, that I recently curated my own bundle on the Okja website. So these are not fragrances that I made, I just hand and picked five of my personal favorites from the Okja website that the team masterly crafted on their own. And we put them in a bundle for you guys to enjoy in case you have no idea where to start. So, so if you did want to try out the bundle and also take advantage of the special price, everything will be linked in my description box down below. Something that I've also been guilty of several years ago was buying one-time wear pieces. And what I mean by that is pieces that I knew I was only gonna get one wear out of. For example, if I was going out to an event or going to a wedding or whatever it may be, I would purchase an item to wear to that one event or one occasion and that was it. And what happened was I started to accumulate all of these one-time wear pieces in my closet that I just couldn't rewear anywhere else. And it made me so sad because even though I love those pieces, they were just not practical and they just didn't work with my lifestyle. So now when I am shopping for something that I want to wear to a special event, I first take a look what's in my closet and I see if I can kind of modify it or maybe style it in a way that would be more appropriate for that event. I also really love the idea of rental services such as on the runway where you can rent a dress or a special occasion outfit for one day or however many days you need it and then you can just return that item. Okay, so this next one I'm sure almost everyone is guilty of doing and that is buying things just because they are on sale. I have to admit that even now sometimes I have to pull myself back if I see something that I think is somewhat interesting and it's on sale, it makes it look a lot more tempting. But then I really have to pull myself back and really think my purchase through. Is this something that I can style with a lot of different outfits or clothing pieces that I already own? Is this something that is super comfortable? Is it something that I love and I need to have in my life? I kind of ask myself all of these questions before making the purchasing decision. And most of the time this saves me from making a decision that I might regret. Now I did just touch on this, but I wanted to put more emphasis on this and I stopped buying things that are uncomfortable. There has been so many instances that I could recall that I purchased something knowing that it was uncomfortable, but I bought it anyway because I loved it, because I felt like it made me look better in some way or another. But I always, always, always regretted those purchases because I never ended up wearing those things. They were just sitting in my closet collecting dust. So I've learned the hard way, even though I might love something and it might look beautiful on the hanger or on my shoe shelf, I no longer purchase things that don't fit me because girl, it is just not worth stuffing a size foot 10 foot into a size 9 shoe. You're not gonna get anywhere, literally and figuratively. Okay, so this is something that I stopped doing in the year 2021 because in the year 2020, I bought pretty much only comfortable 
pieces. I'm talking about loungewear, athleisure wear, leggings galore. I just went crazy because I had nowhere to go. I was always at home. I wanted to feel cute and comfortable, but also look good at the same time. So in the year 2020, yes, I bought a ton of comfortable pieces. And in the year 2021, now the things are slowly, slowly starting to go back to normal. I just want to dress up. I want to put on makeup, do my hair, and not just to sit down in front of the camera and film a YouTube video. I want to go out with my husband on a date. I just want to go back to normal and dressing up nice and wearing cute clothing that I feel good in is something that I appreciate so much more now after everything that has happened in the last year. Another thing that I have been guilty of doing is buying things that don't fit my body or don't suit my body type. There have been times where I would buy something and I loved it so much that I would just take it to my seamstress and she would tailor it to make it fit better. But sometimes if it's a specific piece that has been designed to lay a certain way, there's only so much that you can do with tailoring. So that's why if something really doesn't fit my body anymore and doesn't suit me one way or another, another, I just avoid buying that item altogether. I also stop buying anything that doesn't make me feel my best. It's not only about wearing a certain fabric that doesn't uh, sit right or is not comfortable or maybe something is not the most flattering on me. Whatever it is, whatever that item is, it doesn't make me feel my best, most confident self. I just don't buy it anymore. So this next one is something that took me years years to come to terms with and that is buying colors that I don't feel comfortable wearing. I love all kinds of colors, red, purple, green, blue. I just don't always feel my most comfortable wearing them. Even though certain colors I know look good on me, I just don't feel me when I'm in these colors, especially if they are bright, if they are vibrant, if they are really loud and in your face. There are certain people such as my mom who loves vibrant, bright colors. That is just her vibe. That is her personality. She just, exudes her best self when she is wearing bright and vibrant colors. Me on the other side, I'm not that kind of girl. I'm very comfortable in my neutrals, whites, blacks, grays, beiges. Sometimes I will dabble in a little bit of color. I got blue jeans on today. <laughs> Sometimes I like adding a little bit of pink or whatever it may be. But usually when I add color into my wardrobe, I realize that I'm the most comfortable adding color through accessories. So I will add a pop of color with my shoes or maybe with a handbag or maybe a pop of color on the lips. So I really, really took the time to think about the things that I feel my best in and I feel the most comfortable in. So I love trends. I think trends are so important in not only keeping up with with fashion, but also trying things out you may have not tried before and really exploring and discovering and developing your own personal style. There was a point in my life where I would only, only buy trends and I wouldn't invest into timeless, classic, basic staples in my wardrobe. So I always ended up with this issue of having nothing to wear because all of my pieces were super trendy and and they just wouldn't go together. So I really changed that over the last few years and invested in really high quality, timeless basics so that I have this really nice foundation. And if I want to buy a couple trends every season, it will be a lot easier for me to style them and they're gonna look a lot more wearable. All right, you guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite tip from this video i really love to know and i'm excited to read your comments if you have any special requests for videos you'd like to see me do let me know in the comments below as well don't forget that everything i mentioned in this video Ana Luisa, okcha oil perfumery i'm also gonna try to find links for my outfit today will be in my description box below so feel free to check it out if you're interested and with that i want to thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and i'll see you in my next one